We are very close to wrapping up this portion of the Stone Cottage project. We thought it'd be nice to have the architects come over and see how it's all turning out. Of course, it was the plans Mike Sherritt and Nora Kirkwold put together that guided the construction here from the very bottom of the foundation to the peak of each and every roof plane, not to mention all the exterior finishes. We still have a few crucial elements to add outside before things are totally done, but we wanted to hear their reactions to the way their design has come together inside. So Mike and Nora came over to look around and give us their final thoughts as they toured the house. So it's pretty much what you envisioned when you worked on the plan? It is pretty much what I envisioned. I, it's about modulation of space and mm -hmm. something other than just a flat ceiling. Now I know there's some details like the stairway. Seeing it totally constructed, uh, might be a little different than what you thought. No, it's it's pretty much that, what that we thought. Is. Okay. Yeah. Right. What we're trying to do here is we're trying to accentuate the stair coming down and arriving into the lower level from the second floor, mm -hmm. and it's it's expressive of that. Just a nice thing to look at when you first come walking into the house. Right. It's unique to this house. And like so many of your other homes, we do have the uh, transom, transom windows. Transom windows. Okay. Right. Here in the opening, and then of course the library has an entire wall of those. Right. The idea is uh, transfer of light from east to west, north to south, yep. and the ability to see from this space all parts of the first floor. Now, Nora, up here on the second level, the first impression I have when I come up here is just all the woodwork. So warm and inviting. Yeah, it's very rich looking, and I think the cherry and the epe blend well together. They really do. And then, of course, the roof lines that you used up here create some really unique spaces. Exactly, and that's what we've done here. The wall wouldn't have normally stopped here, but we brought the ceiling down into this space, creating a dormer here, which adds some visual interest outside as well as creates this unique niche for a desk area here. Yeah. And then in the bathroom, you see this door is clipped. Some people might think that's a mistake, but we uh, planned it that way for a unique, fun feature because it follows the slope ceiling beyond. Cool. And then in the bedrooms, we also have a dormer in each bedroom, and it creates a cozy little space in the bedrooms as well. The window benches are... Well, here in the great room, I think the volume is really, it's, it's just nice. It's not too large, but it just has a comfortable feel to it. It's human scale. We tried to scale the elements so that it was not overly powering, and the stain colors being different on the ceiling then the rest of the trim work I think is effective that it's a natural color still. And uh, in any space like this you always have a conflict between the fireplace and the television here. I think the fireplace definitely went out. Well the fireplace should. I think in the main entertaining areas of the room it's the most beautiful piece of architecture of the entire space. Entertainment is a secondary consideration so yeah. that's why it should be off to the side. And talk to us about the relationship between the fireplace and the kitchen. I know that's something you guys brought up early on. Well, the fireplace being the main element in the great room area, we took the center line of the fireplace and related it to the center line of the kitchen the cooking it area. Right down the middle here. Right down the middle. Everybody wants to hang by the kitchen, and it's the primary thing that's looking into the great room space. Now, one thing I'm glad you talked us into is bumping this side. I know we had a few discussions where we move this back, we could gain a couple feet. The idea is that the th kitchen then becomes more three-dimensional with this coming toward us. We wrap the cabinets back, we wrap the countertops back, and it's not just pushing it against a wall. And then again, no wasted space because we only have one dining area here. Duplication of functions is one of the things that makes homes bigger than they need to be. So one dining space is adequate. So I guess this is what you would call the hallway that uh, is also doubling as a couple of rooms. Functional spaces, which include the laundry, the mudroom, terminus to the view from the entry foyer with a piece of furniture. Mm -hmm. It has a pantry that supports the kitchen. It's access to the lower level with the stair, access to the kitchen, and yet access to the master bedroom as yeah. well. Well, that's one thing. We've had a lot of people come through here now. They come into the bedroom and they say, wow, this is not that large a room. Well, today it doesn't have to be that large a room. We don't have the need for furniture like we used to have in bedrooms where we had very small closets. Now we have a large walk-in closet we have lots of linen storage in the bathroom. There's no need for this to be a large room. It's, it's the idea of keeping the house smaller. So Nora, a lot of the times a lower level or a basement can be kind of an afterthought, make a big space and throw a bunch of stuff down there, but this space has really been thought out well here. It has. We've, we've spent a lot of time thinking about how the space could be unique. And we um, put a barrel vault here that's centered on the media space that gives it a distinctive feel as well as focus your attention on the media wall. And it's also mirrored in the curve of the bar here. Mm -hmm. 
as well as the curve of the fireplace. Exactly. And as Mike talked about upstairs, the fireplace was the primary focal point. Here the media center is, with the fireplace being off to the side. It's really nice. Well guys, thanks so much for stopping by today. I gotta tell you, the people coming through here, we're getting some rare reviews on the place. It's a great plan and I think people are really liking it. Yeah, it turned out really well and I think it was executed very well. Oh, we appreciate that. It's been fun working with you.